Hey there, howdy ho, this has been done. Your AP Sensei, founder of Antarctic Press, a comic book publishing company established in 1985. Creator of such comics as Warrior Nun, Ninja High School, Tomorrow Girl, Mighty Tiny, and soon to be newest character, Kendra the Salisbury. So, uh, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm going to return to my Garland office, which I've moved out of, and do a final sweep of the old office. Make sure that's clean, emptied out, and say farewell to an old life in Garland and starting of a new one here in San Antonio. Now, one of the things that I realized when I was moving was just how much garbage I've accumulated over the years. You know, I mean, you see behind me just some of the stuff that I've gotten over the years. You know, but, and then I realized, God, what do, why do I have so much crap? I mean, don't get me wrong. I enjoy looking at it, but then, uh, and I bought them, you know, without breaking the bank. Yeah, I basically just, I'm a bargain hunter. I always am on the lookout for stuff that seems to interest me, that seems to, to strike my fancy. But you know what? I'm a cheapskate. <clears throat> I'm a starving artist. I do not want to spend a lot of money on stuff that is basically going to end up uh, either in someone else's hands or as landfill. So I've got to ask myself this question. What am I spending my money on? You know, there's a... Uh, you know, when I was growing up, you know, I was a avid collector of things. I knew I was young. You want to have stuff. You know, you want to have things that you can own, belong, hold on to, look back, and hopefully appreciate and value. That's really, you know, other than the actual wanting to collect it just because I want it, you know, your hope is that whatever you buy will appreciate and value. And eventually... You can resell it for what more than what you pay for it. Sometimes it can take years. Sometimes it can take decades. You know, uh, so you have to be just like anything else. You have to sort of hold on to it so that it'll become, you know, worth more than what you paid for it. And then I thought to myself, what if I had taken all that money I spent on collectibles and comics and toys and stuff like that and actually had bought actual real commodities you know stocks bonds i mean not, that's no guarantee of course but you know would i be a wealthy man now you know i always always kind of wondered about that you know had i bought apple stock when it was cheap when i had bought google stock when it was being offered had I bought all those other you know highfalutin company stocks when i had the the money instead of buying you know a Action Comics 252 or Detective Comics 359 or, you know, putting it back into my business, you know. And I thought to myself, would I be a wealthy man now? And I thought to myself, well, yeah, maybe, but would I be happy? You know, one of the things I like about collecting is that I enjoy looking at the artistry of and things that are made by and created by the human hand. You know, it's not for the sake of collecting simply because I want to see it appreciated value. Oh, yeah, that's a bonus, sure. You know, but uh, it's not the primary reason I collect things. I collect things because I appreciate the artistry. I appreciate the look and feel. I appreciate what went into creating something. You know, and it just always boggles my mind the infinite creativity of people, you know, artists, things like that, you know, and I like to be able to spend money on things like that, but then I don't want to, you know, I realize that as I've grown older, that what I possess really makes very little difference, you know, and uh, uh, I've decided that in as I grow older, that I'm going to put most of the money I make it back into creating more things, you know, leaving something behind. You know, something that I feel like I 
you know, will appreciate for myself, you know, later on. You know, I like to see things being created by my own hands. You know, that's why I keep drawing comics. I love drawing comics. It's, I, I, you know, I don't think I could do anything else but draw comics. And that's what I want to do. You know, so I made a decision that, you know, I'm going to still continue to collect, but I'm not spending vast amounts of money on something that's just going to hang on my wall or sit on my shelf. You know, I've decided I'm going to go ahead and spend that money back into my business, back into myself. You know, invest in myself, invest in yourself. You know, take the money that you make and put it back into creating more, you know, of yourself. You know, I mean, sure, it's, it's nice to own something collectible, but think about it for a minute. You know, if you're a creator, would you rather spend the money on creating some your newest comic book or buying some expensive back issue? You know, I mean, if you're going to, if you, if you, I mean, now don't get me wrong. If you see a bargain, by all means, don't pass it up. You know, if you think you can flip it, you know, or you think you got something really good for a very decent price, then yeah, you know, don't let me stop you from doing that. But, you know, think about the kind of money that you have that you can reinvest in yourself and in your creation, how you can build it. You know, a lot of times, uh, if you look at a, a lot of successful business people, you know, they didn't then spend vast amounts of money on frivolous things. They reinvested it back into their business. They reinvested it back into themselves because they believed that they needed to do that in order to grow their business and to expand you know, their, their reach, you know, and even after they become hugely successful, a lot of them, they do not surround themselves with the trappings. Of wealth. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that that's not always the case. You know, some people love to spend money, but you think about it, they do, they spend money on things and goods that employ other people. You know, when you buy a item that's long been, you know, created or discarded or you know, is a collectible, then the, the person has already made that money off that object and the only person making the money there is going to be the person selling it to you. That's it. You know, and uh, and while that is the economy of scale, you know, you want to buy something and employ somebody else, you know, you have to think carefully about where you're putting your money, you know, that you make. Because money is not uh, easy to obtain. You know, it's always been difficult to you know, there's no such thing in my mind as what you call easy money. You know, money is something that is is desirable because we as a society have placed value on it. You know, if if the collective society decided that money was just paper and not worth very much, they spread out and we decided that we were going to exchange goods and services with something like Bitcoin or seashells you know, or whatever we decide to place value on, then that's going to change. Yeah, but for the time being, you know, we value the money that we get because that is what we have agreed to, to have value. And that is the one thing that is, uh, keeps us together as a society is that shared understanding that we have place value on this certain thing and that we will, you know, exchange that for goods and services. So for me, yeah, as, I, as I'm growing older, is that I've, I want to do more and more things that will leave more of a legacy behind and rather just spending it on buying uh, stuff, you know. Oh, you, don't get me wrong. I'm still going to collect. I love going to the flea markets. I love being able to go to the estate sales. I love going to garage sales and finding out what other people, you know, owned or or willing to get rid of. You never know what kind of interesting thing you'll come across at a very, very, very reasonable price. But I, I've, I mean, I look on eBay, I look on the things like that, and people are asking these ridiculous amounts of money for things that, you know, should not be worth that much. You know, to be honest, I really think that a lot of stuff is overpriced. And I think there's going to be a correction. You know, there's going to be a crash, you know, of prices. Now, I could be wrong. Who knows? But uh, for me, I think right now I'm putting my money into be rebuilding. I mean, not rebuilding, but, you know, strengthening the comic industry. 
you know, it may be a fool's errand. You know, I, you know, I, 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 that could very well be that comics will go away. Now, personally, I don't think it'll do that in my lifetime. Maybe 50, 20 years, I mean, 50 to 100 years from now, maybe. You know, but uh, uh, by then I'll probably be long gone and it won't matter to me that much. But for the time being, you know, I do want to leave something behind that not only gave me personal pleasure, you know, but will hopefully cement some sort of legacy of creativity that you, you know, as well as myself, can leave behind for future generations. So anyway, you know, this is a rambling is one old man. You know, take it for what you will. But uh, until next time, this is Ben Dunn signing off.